Hello, today we're going to show you how to put together the Alpha Base Loop Antenna. Let's take a look at everything that comes inside the box. Here is your remote cable. Here is your remote control unit. Inside the box also is the tuning box that goes on the mast with two U-bolts. Here we have the top section of the mast mount with the coaxials on it. And your user guide with some extra parts. This here is the center support rods, and that's all that's in the box. Set that aside, and we'll take a look at the mast, okay? Here on the mast, we'll go ahead and loosen the U-bolts a little bit, and then we'll slide it over the top of the mast, and then thumb tighten those U-bolts onto the mast. These U-bolts are 316 stainless steel. Now we'll go ahead and just tighten these finger tight, as I mentioned. You'll want to use a wrench later. Take the top section that has the coaxials already attached. Slide the two U-bolts over your mast. And here for the installation, we will again finger tighten these. And again, you'll want to tighten these with a wrench later on during the assembly process. Finger tightening them is advisable up front because you'll want to go ahead and separate these with a little bit of distance as you form a loop with the outer loop. On the outer loop, we have the PL259s here. These will go into the SO239s on either side of the tuning box. Go ahead and attach it there. Awesome, there we go. Now. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of separation here between the uh, bottom tuning box and the uh, top mounting plate. Those here are the two clips that we'll put the center support rods on shortly. Go ahead and finger tighten this. Get a little bit of separation here so that we can form a, an approximate circle with the outer loop. Tighten those U-bolts back down. On the top and the bottom, there we go. And we'll go ahead and reform the loop a little bit. Looks pretty good, so we'll get our center support rods here. On the center by the mast, there are clips that these go in and out. and attach together. Then on the right hand side here we attach this support rod to the clip and same thing on the left. We support the outer loop with these clips and this center support rod so that it will maintain its structural integrity. Then we have your remote control cable that goes into the bottom of the tuning box has a rubber grommet that you have to press that keeps moisture out. These are specifically chosen for outdoor ratings. This is the remote control. Screws on the same way. Over here then you'll grab your coax, screw it into the T connector on the inner loop where there's an SO239 that you can install your PL259 to. There you go.